Hello everyone, welcome to Shaping Memories. My name is Cynthia and I'll be reading the Daily Chronicle for today. Today is July 8th and it is Bald is In Day. There are plenty of bald men in the world who know how to rock the bald look. Dwayne The Rock Johnson, Tay Diggs, and Stanley Tucci. They just need to remember to apply sunscreen. And in the Wild Kingdom, Tim Newton, a resident of Anchorage, Alaska, awoke one morning to the sound of many little feet scratching across the deck of his home. Imagine his surprise when he pulled back the curtain of his patio doors and found a family of lynx kittens playing on his porch. For 40 minutes, Newton took pictures and videos of the seven kids and their mother as they wrestled and frolicked. Newton thought the spectacle was a -a once-in-a-lifetime wildlife encounter, but the Lynx family returned two months later to play on his porch for another hour. And here's a whether or not. Although they are called rainbows, white rainbows do not form in rain but in fog. Because of the very small size of the water droplet present in fog, when the light refracts, it has very weak colors. The white rainbow is not entirely white, but has a reddish outer edge and a bluish inner edge. White rainbows can often be seen while looking down into the clouds from airplane windows and are then called cloud bows. Sailors who see them in fog at sea call them sea dogs. Most other people call them, unsurprisingly, fog bows. And what's in a name? This Canadian country pop star was born Eileen Regina Edwards. Who is she? Her name is Shania Twain. And on this date in 1776, the Liberty Bell told to announce the first public reading of the Declaration of Independence. And in 1881, The first ice cream sundae was served in Two Rivers, Wisconsin. A scoop of ice cream was topped with chocolate syrup at the request of a customer. Until then, chocolate syrup primarily flavored ice cream sodas. And in 1918, Ernest Hemingway was wounded in Italy while he worked as an ambulance driver for the American Cross. His experiences in World War I would become material for the one of his best loved novels, A Farewell to Arms. And in the daily trivia, golf and football soccer were banned in Scotland from 1457 to 1502 to ensure citizens wouldn't waste time playing instead of preparing for an English invasion. Rather, they were expected to spend their time practicing archery. And for the quote of the day, I learned more from the one restaurant that didn't work than from all the ones that were successes. Wolfgang Puck said that. And today happens to be his birthday. Wolfgang Puck was born in 1949. He is a world famous Austrian American chef and entrepreneur. Puck apprenticed in France and Monaco before moving to the United States at age 24. After releasing a cookbook of his popular creations, Puck opened his now famous restaurant, Spago, on the Sunset Strip in LA in 1982. It has since moved to Beverly Hills. Since then, he has gained international fame with his cookbooks, TV appearances, philanthropy, and delicious recipes. Puck has four children and lives with his wife in Bel Air, California. All right, everyone, I hope that you enjoyed the Daily Chronicles for today. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and like, and I will see you on the next Daily Chronicles. Have a beautiful day.